feel like falling in love. I feel like falling in love. I'm in a mood to roll something up. And I'm fucking some this soda pink in my cup. Hey, I'm in a mood of fuck love. So I'm back with another juice recipe video for you guys. So this week I made a Duke First Watch Kale Tonic and I made a sweet potato juice. So the juice, the kale tonic has cucumbers, ginger, lemons, and a full bag of kale, as well as Fuji apples. I've learned since juicing that the type of apples you use definitely matter. So yeah, you could just grab any apple, but trust me, if you want the juice to taste good, use the apples that they are requesting, okay? So I made this juice and I ended up using a full bag of kale. The recipe called for like 16 leaves or something. I just used a full bag of chopped kale. I do want to note though, I pull the stems out of the bag. I don't juice the stems. I feel like the stems is what gives it more of like a, a bitter taste. And I'm going to show you what I mean by stems um, a little bit later in this video. Like in a few seconds, I'm going to show you what I mean by stems just in case you're confused. But I pull out like the big stems. I don't juice them because when I first started juicing years ago, I, I did not like kale. I thought kale was so nasty. And then I realized it wasn't the leaves, it's the stem that causes it to have that like bitter taste. So yeah, take those out, don't juice those. And you'll have this kale tonic that tastes really good. I enjoyed it. Like I said, I'll probably definitely be making again. I do have an update coming for you guys about my juicing experience. But yeah, that's for another video. And that's what I mean, that thick, thick stem. Yeah, don't juice that take that out so yeah kale tonic it definitely tastes like the first watch version i drink that every time i go to first watch so yeah next up we have my favorite sweet potato juice i really 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 love sweet potato juice it is for like i guess you would say big sweet potatoes seven honey crisp apples honey crisps definitely matter now the key and the secret to making some really good sweet potato juice is the honey crisp apples and in the end, you will see that I added some cinnamon and nutmeg to the juice. Stir that in real good. Mm, like I said, delicious. So if you're looking for something different, something yummy, go back, pause the videos, get what you need, write it down. And let me know how you guys like it. If you try any of these recipes, please let me know if you like it. But I love it, love it, love it. Like I said, um... I know originally y'all, if you watched the last video, I said I was gonna do 60 days of juicing. Just know I have had a change of plans. It's looking like we're gonna do 30 days of like raw vegan instead. But uh, I'm gonna record a video and give y'all more updates on that. Anyways, I'll catch y'all in the next video. I'm gonna stop talking cause I'm rambling, bye.